Hi there, it's Phil here. Today I have just experienced a problem that I've had before just with the connectivity regarding Lunar Display. So I wanted to show you how you can get through it and what to look out for. Um, now the reason that I've discovered that I had a problem and I'm gonna, this is all very much live recording. So um, I have the two screens uh, on the right hand side I've got my Mac Studio Dell screen and on the left hand side I have my 27 inch 5K uh, iMac and I'm able to use that as a screen using Lunar Display. Now the issue is that um, I've found that when I'm navigating around on this screen it's very jumpy and very blocky and so this is what I wanted to uh, show to you as to why that might be and I felt that because it was blocky I, it was quite obvious that something was wrong and uh, it's not the normal smooth experience that I have. So let me jump into the uh, close-up of the uh, the screen and the settings. So in my lunar display settings that you see here you might actually see that at the top and uh, let me see if I can show you it this way. Up here it says Wi-Fi and actually there's an orange dot there. Now just to be absolutely certain with you and I'm going to show you properly here. If I go back to Lunar Display in the settings on the left hand side if I go to settings and I'll need to move the dialogue into an area where you can see it my settings on the Mac to Mac connection says connect via Ethernet only. So why is it then that uh, I can only seem to see that it says Wi-Fi? So this is the issue that we've got and it's something to have a look out for if you're feeling that you're um, Lunar display connectivity isn't running the way you want it to. Um, so something's clearly gone wrong, in my opinion, um, with the fact that I want Ethernet only and it's connecting via Wi-Fi. So let's have a look and see why we can't connect via Ethernet only, which is definitely my preferred option. On my Mac, I'm going to go to the system settings. And if you then go to network, we will see all of our network options and they say Wi-Fi is connected, but Ethernet is not connected for some reason. Now, I haven't done anything different here. It is just started up that way and it's because of the blocky and, and slow nature of the connection that I thought well something's clearly gone wrong so basically the thing is that we need to somehow work out what to do about it so I'm going to go into that setting and see if I can see anything there and it may well be that I just need to reconnect some things hardware wise in the computer behind you so basically on the computer I'll try and dis describe what I'm doing to fix it so anyway, let's go back into the uh, settings here. If I click on Ethernet here, I've got a couple of options. It says Ethernet not connected and the details. Uh, and it's very limited details there, but the TCIP, and you'd normally see a, a set of numbers in here. Down at the bottom here, I'm just gonna click OK, but basically what you see in here means that there's no connection because we should have numbers in all of these dialog boxes. So I'm going to click on OK. And what I've found in the past is that I need to click on the delete service, believe it or not. And I don't worry about whether it can or cannot be undone because it's not always true. Hit delete. And now what you can do is click on that and add the service back. So there's three icons at the bottom of the screen here. Click on add service. And then we select that we're going through Ethernet. We can leave the service name as Ethernet. You could change it if you wanted to and hit create. 
and that doesn't seem to have fixed it at this moment in time. So what we need to now do is go back, rejoin you here. So now what I'm going to do is go to the back of the router. So the back of the router, I've got a cable that connects directly into my Mac Studio, my main Mac uh, for, for this service. So let's see if it's that one that is uh, a problem. I've also got an Ethernet cable connecting into my iMac as well. And that's really where the two Macs talk to each other. But it's quite clear to me from what I'm looking at here in this screen that the Ethernet is not connected and this is relating to my main Mac. So the fact that it says Ethernet not connected here, this is actually my main Mac that I'm looking at. So there's something really wrong on that side of things. So let's just go back and I'm going to have a look and see if I can disconnect it, simply disconnect the cable, reconnect it. So I'm going to put you on pause and be back in a moment or two. Well, I'm back and that actually proved why there was a problem. I've still got the issue, as you will see here. And the issue is that my router has, for some reason, formed a, a little fault. And that particular connection on the router has stopped working. Uh, I can tell that because there's flashing lights on the back of the router, which I unfortunately I can't really reach to show you, but you get a, a yellow and a green flashing light and they're completely off on the router. So I think that means that it is a router problem. So I'm going to disconnect the router and restart it and we'll come back and see if that fixes the issue. I'm going to pause you once more. So I've discovered that in fact, looking at the back of my Mac Studio, which is my main Mac, uh, the Ethernet cable seems to be slightly loose in there. You know, it doesn't click closed properly. So I've reseated that and then I returned to the router, found that the orange and green lights were starting to come on. And so now we've got a fully connected system. So. Uh, you'd be able to see that the Ethernet connection is correctly connected. Let me see if I can show you that there now. I'll just bring up the system settings and the network. And you'll see now that it says Ethernet connected just up here in the top of the screen. Now we can see the numbers that we were looking for where Previously, when it was disconnected, this was this area was all completely blank. So I hope that that is uh, helpful to you. In the end, it was simply a connection on the main Mac just needed to be reseated. So that's really the first thing to try. Then reconnect it into your router, maybe restart your router. And at worst, which I've had to do before, is actually delete the uh, Ethernet service and then add it again. And that has fixed it. So these are Ethernet problems, not Lunar Display problems. But of course, they will affect the way the Lunar Display works. If you are using the Ethernet connectivity for Lunar Display, which is definitely my preferred route because of the speed and the uh, other functionality that it gives you as a Mac user on your network. So I hope that was of use to you. If you have any other technical questions regarding Lunar Display, please ask them away in the comments below. And I look forward to helping you in the near future. Bye for now.